Okay, good afternoon class. Today we'll be learning about neutralization, which is an extension of what we learned from yesterday, acid, bases, and pH. Now to get you your, your knowledge activated, we're going to play the card trading game. Now if you don't remember the card trading game, it's the game that I would give each one of you a card, and on the front it has a question, and on the back it has a solution. So what you do is you get up and you find another student with a card, you present your question to that student, and that student is supposed to answer your question, and then vice versa, you answer their question. And afterwards, uh, it doesn't matter if you get it right, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, it's just a learning experience. You tell them the answer, and then you, you trade the card with, with each other, so you get a new card with a new question. And you find another student, and then you repeat the process, okay? Okay. So, Daniel, can you pick that, what we're going to do today? Yes, we're going to um, each get a card, yep. and then we're going to read our card mm -hmm. with the question, and the answer in the back and find someone else with a different question, and answer their question, and they're going to have to answer our question, and then we're going to trade. Excellent. Now I'm going to hand you the card. You have one minute, because we're short on time today. Okay. And you may begin. What is the pH of seven? Seven that does something in the water. Okay. Uh, that's in the water. Water acid. Or concentration of H plus is equal to the concentration of pH. Uh, no, that's no, no, that's neutral. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what does a low pH mean? Yes. Water acid. Okay, class, I think we have enough time. Awesome. I join you, right? Can I get your attention now? If everyone return to their seats, you okay. can leave the car on your table for now. We're going to continue with our lesson. But today, we're going to learn about neutralization. And here are the learning goals. Can anyone volunteer to read out the learning goals? Yes, ma'am. Identify the properties of the reactions of the neutralization reaction. Yep. Predict the products of the neutralization reaction and identify the properties of the products of the neutralization reaction. Excellent. Now, here on the board, I have hydrochloric acid. The green is chlorine, white hydrogen. And we have water. So, can anyone tell me what happens to hydrochloric acid when it is dissolved in water? Well, if you remember from yesterday, the hydrogen atom from the chlorine will dissociate in water. So it will detach from the chlorine and it will form hydronium ion with the water as such. Okay? And can anyone tell me what pH measures? It sounds hard. Yes. The concentration of hydronium ions? Exactly. pH measures the concentration of this molecule. So the higher the concentration, the lower the pH, the more acidic the solution becomes. And that is why hydrochloric acid is an acid. And now we have sodium hydroxide. This is sodium and this is hydroxide. So what happens to sodium hydroxide when it's in water? Refer back to hydrochloric acid. Yeah, same thing. Uh, this molecule of hydroxide, it dissociates from the sodium. So we have the sodium ion and hydroxide ion. And this hydroxide ion is what makes the solution basic. So the higher the concentration of hydroxide, the more basic the solution becomes and the higher the pH. Okay? Now we've we know about the properties of acids and bases. We know that they're very dangerous. They're really reactive. If you get it on your skin, it's going to really hurt you. But what happens if we mix sodium uh, hydroxide and hydrochloric acid together? Can you predict what will happen? Well, that's what we're going to learn 
<laughs> so, hydrochloric acid will dissociate in water. So, the chlorine and the hydrochloric will separate, and so will the sodium hydroxide. Now, what I'm going to get to do is, everyone, I need four volunteers. Four oh, volunteers. Yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I will assign each of you a role, okay? Okay. You will be the chlorine. Okay. You're the hydrogen. Okay. You're the sodium. And you're the hydroxide. You have your two atoms. <laughs> now, I'm going to get the chlorine and the hydrogen to stand over here, and the sodium and the hydroxide to stand over there. Now, you represent two solutions. What are you as a group? What are you as a group? Yes, you're an acid, hydrochloric acid. And you are? Basic. Yeah, sodium hydroxide, you're basic. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get you to mix together, and you will find another partner, just link with them, and what do you think will happen? Yeah, Now, what do you think will happen when you get more of you get No, I'm going to go with you. Yeah. So we neutralize each other. I'm going to go here. Oh, okay. So NACL. We're salt. Salt. You are sodium. Yes, sodium. And chlorine. You are hydrogen. And you are hydroxide. So what do we have here? So we have NACL. And? Which is you. And you are? And You have H2O. And before that, we had HCl. And we had sodium hydroxide. Yes. So this is what happens with neutralization. The chlorine atom pairs with the sodium. And the hydrogen pairs with the hydroxide. OK? And what do we know about hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide? It is what happens when we get on the skin. It burns. It's really dangerous. But what do we know about these two? Yeah, yeah, this is salt, table salt. salt. Yeah. And this is water. This is just salt water. You can touch it. You can put it on your face, but not too much. This is relatively harmless compared to this. So it's amazing that something dangerous mixed together can get you something relatively harmless. Because this is neutralization reactions. Now, before I let you go, let's revisit the learning goals. What are the properties? of the reactions of a neutralization reactor. Anyone, just shout it out. Yes, and they are, they are very dangerous, right? And predict the product of a neutralization reactor. What happens to Water and salt. Yes, water and, water and salt. And what are the properties of water and salt? They're not dangerous. Neutral. Yeah, they're neutral in pH. They're not dangerous. Well, that's all I have today. Thank yeah. you. And we'll